Foreign intelligence officials have linked multiple cases of white supremacist violence to the teachings of a neo-Nazi in Colorado. NBC News senior producer Anna Schechter had been following his rise to prominence and reports on how his ideas have inspired violence from racist extremists. She worked with our local NBC affiliate, KUSA, to land a spontaneous interview. I want to warn you, you may find some of the content in this segment disturbing. Okay, let me ask you a question. Why do you still hold these Nazi ideals? You got any better ones? You believe the U.S. government should be overthrown, yet you're relying on the charity of others. And potentially the <laughs> charity of guerrilla, taxpayer. Guerrilla warfare, man. Guerrilla warfare. You got to take what you have to get what you need. This is James Mason. He's a lifelong neo-Nazi, and today he's an advisor to one of the most violent white supremacist groups in America. Individuals linked to the group known as the Adam Waffen Division have allegedly carried out five murders in two years. They've been arrested for weapons possession and bomb plots. Mason says he's not a part of the group. And while he's not been charged in connection with these crimes... James Mason is a key figure within this movement and this subculture. He's put on a pedestal along with Timothy McVeigh or Anders Breivik, who killed 77 people in Norway. We first started looking at Mason in September, when foreign intelligence experts told us he and his book Siege were influential to multiple far-right extremists they'd been tracking in Europe. The book glorifies Adolf Hitler and serial killer Charles Manson and calls for the violent overthrow of the government to usher in a new racist society. And those who embrace siege culture advocate for the most violence, the most destruction, and the most clandestine approach to targeting your victims. A few weeks later, Mason showed up in a new Adam Waffen propaganda video, wearing the group's signature patch surrounded by younger masked members of the group. We wanted to interview him, not to proliferate his disturbing ideology, but to press him on the ways he inspires violence in others and to highlight how Nazis can be walking among us and even living life subsidized by taxpayers. Meanwhile, our Denver affiliate KUSA had been tracking him too as part of their series on hate in Colorado. His Section 8 housing is just blocks away from the station. KUSA reporter Jeremy Hahola got a letter from Mason responding to his multiple requests for an interview. He declined an interview Mr. in a typed letter saying he's not interested in media exposure for purely tactical reasons. But Hahola did find him at a local shopping mall, and it was clear he did want to talk. Is, do you feel any responsibility for the young people that have turned violent? None at all. You don't? No. No? A lot of people take your words, and they're acting violent based on your words. If they were acting on my words, they wouldn't be doing the things they're doing throwing their lives away. I say, and here I am talking to you, but yeah. I say, don't do it. But if you're going to do it, for God's sake, do it right. That's a pretty bold statement. Well, I've said it to the FBI. I've said it to Denver detectives. It's nothing illegal. It only makes sense. So do you endorse violence by proxy then? Is that what I'm hearing from you? I'm simply saying that we have a society that's going crazy. It sounds like a lot of people, we when they watch this, they're going to think that you're crazy by saying No, I don't like care. That. Oh, I've, been, I've, I've had that all my life. What do I care? The FBI declined to comment on Mason or Adam Waffen. Denver police did too, citing an ongoing investigation. Why do you hold these Nazi views all these years later? All these years later? Why because do you hold that? I mean, our, our country beat you guys last century. Yeah, but look what you it's got out. Yeah, but look, done my ass. Look what we got out of that war. Look at the shape the society's in. Look at the goddamn shootings. Look at the drugs, the suicides, the crime, and everything else. And you're telling me we won. Bull hmm. I say this country lost. And decade by decade, I see my beliefs proven over and over again. We're prophets. Nobody's listening to us, but they're going right off the cliff thinking we're nuts. That's okay. I don't have to go with them. I saw you in line at the soup kitchen a few days ago. You're still relying on the charity of others to survive. How do Big you deal. I told yeah. you it's guerrilla warfare. I'm going to do whatever I can do, whatever I have to do, whatever I need to do to survive, to go on, to fulfill my program, to survive. I'm a guerrilla warrior. Okay. What's, okay? what's in your future, Mr. Mason? Who knows? You still going to counsel these young men? You bet I am.
Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.